This information about the key to the Nile. Tasha's princes of Egypt and Tyrone Pablo and Austin are our servants. All of the princes can end the drought by bringing three precious gifts to Spanx Negro. The key to the now. Prediction code 108. Air date October 18, 2004. Music memory. Broadway. Snack. Cheese crackers and apple juice at Tasha's house. It's great to be a ghost. Private episode Riding the Range. Next episode Knights of Raven Strong. Tasha walks out from behind Pablo's house wearing a crown and introduces herself as Princess Clea Tasha, the ruler of Egypt. She explains to the viewer how as the princess servants get her to whatever you need and never do things herself. Tasha sings the song, I love being a princess. The backyard transformed into the desert of Egypt. Tasha is seen looking out of the window from her Egyptian palace. She calls for her servants, Pablo, Tarvin, and Austin. The boys enter. At the end, the princess sang the reprise of I love being a princess. To a song, the servants explain how Princess Clea Tasha never says please or thank you. The boys ask Tasha what she wants. Tasha tells, tells them that she wants a drink of water. Austin tells her that they cannot give any water because the Nile River, the only source of drinking water, has dried up and the only way to fill it back up is to bring three presents to the Sphinx who will refill the river after being given the gifts. Austin tells her that they know where the presents are hidden and they will help her find the presents as presents as they find off on a journey. They sing three presents for the Spanx. They walk over a city of pyramids. Tasha tells Cleo Tasha that the first gift is the jewel of water. That is the hidden pyramid. The kids take a rest in the cleaning and sitting of pyramids. Tarvon Ty reaches out into what looks like air, but actually the door in the visible hidden pyramid. And he opens the door. Clear Tasha follows Tyrone in. They come to a room with six pedestals with a jewel on each one, including diamonds, rubies, diamonds, and more. Tasha approaches a golden jewel, but Tyrone tells her that she must only touch the jewel of waters. If you touch any other jewel, all is lost. He says, while Clear Tasha looks for the jewel, Tyrone points out to her, obvious this assistance. She says, I found it. I have found it. Then she gives back to Tyrone to carry. As the children continue their journey across the desert, Claire Tasha noticed the dry near riverbed on an off and sings, I want my river back. After song, she asks Silver Pablo what the second present is. Pablo tells her that the yellow lotus flower grows of the cliffs of Karnak. As they head toward the distance, they sing a second part of Three Presses for the Sphinx, which they reach the cliffs of Karnak. Claire Tasha has Pablo accompany her up the golden steps. At the top, they come to the garden. Claire Tasha gets ready to pick some pink and blue flowers, but Pablo tells her that the main. Huh? Only pick the yellow lotus flower. When she picks any other flower, all is lost. Little Tasha starts looking for the yellow lotus flower, but Pablo has spotted it already. Points out to her, beginning to thank him. She picks it and says, I have found the second present for the Spanish. She gives it Pablo to carry. Next, they travel and search for the secret oasis. It takes a while to find the hidden hole of water in the middle of the dry desert, but to find it. Tasha dashes 
to the oasis but about to drink from it. But she stopped Austin who tells her that the drinks the water to sick with the oasis all is lost. Austin says the only dispense can drink the water from oasis. Austin gives Claire Tasha a cup and she fills it with the water. As Claire Tasha gets back on her horse, Austin remarks oh, once again the Princess Claire Tasha just never says please and thank you. They find the space and give her a princess being excellent with manners. She says thank you for each one. Princess Claire Tasha asks the Sphinx what the secret Nile is. And Unique sweetly tells her, you know, Princess Claire Tasha, the secret to almost everything is to always say please and thank you. And you go in the gang saying, please and thank you. During the song, Claire Tasha thanks her wild servants for knowing what the gifts were, for helping her find them and being such good servants. Immediately, the tree became green. Again, the river now fills back up. The servant says, you're welcome, and Tasha adds the please forgive me, and they added kind of like a jerk. The celebrate used the menace, and lastly, Claire Tasha thinks Spanks in equal for telling her the secret of now. Austin's stomach grows. She is then advised over for cheese, crackers, and apple juice at her house. The desert turns far back into her backyard as they sing the end song. They walk behind Pablo's house. Tasha walks back and shouts, Thanks! Spanx Yaniqua, Servant Pablo, Servant Tyrone, Princess Cleo Tasha, Servant Austin. This is for the first episode to feature all five characters. I love being a princess. Big presents for the Spanx. I want my river back. Please and thank you.